I will show you how to load a CSV file using Langchain. This will load our CSV file as document and a document is a piece of text and associated metadata. Let's import CSV loader from Langchain underscore community dot document loaders import CSV loader now I'm going to make an object of this class CSV loader I will write here loader and then I will call this CSV loader inside this we have to pass our file path and since my CSV file is in the same directory I'm just going to give its name iris.csv and if your CSV file is in another directory please give the entire path now let us execute our code and if I load or if I call this loader so we have I have made spelling mistake I will write it loader so we get the memory location here and to get the content from CSV file we need to call a function load on this loader object and store in a new variable I will write here data and then I will call here loader and from this load method and if I check the type of this data here I can see that it is a list and let me print this data so I have this CSV file which is loaded as an list here in a list so this is our list and inside this we have row by row content so we have this page content then this id and this sepal and sepal width and you might not be able to understand how the columns are written down here so let let us make it simple to read first i am going to write here print data one dot metadata so here we see that the source is iris.csv that is our CSV file name and it has row so this is the first row and now let us load the first row with all the columns so I will write here print data first let's look at index 0 and then page underscore content you will see this page underscore content in all the rows that is what I am calling here at this index 0 and if I execute our code so now you can see that in our CSV file we have these columns the first one is ID second is sepal length centimeter second a third sepal width centimeter petal length centimeter petal width centimeter and species and even I can print index number one and then I will show you our actual CSV file I will write here 1 and this is for the row or row 2 and this is at index 1 and if I show you the actual CSV file I will come here and then I will open this is the CSV file that I have just loaded and if I open the CSV file you will see that we have all the contents which are similar in the CSV file so here you can see our columns are id sepal length sepal width centimeter and then sepal width centimeter petal length centimeter petal width centimeter and species and if you look here we have this id sepal length centimeter and so on so we were able to load our csv file using langchain csv loader this is how you can also load any csv file I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.